Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG. Here is the Chief Augie and with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question is coming off a pile of emails that I found that had been left alone for close to four years. So I suspect that Humberto has already solved his problem. But it's an interesting question, so let's take a look at it. This is from Humberto Cartaya. K-N-4-O-I-K. Okay, and he has just gotten his general uh, a couple of weeks ago as of that date. And he lives in a second story apartment with very restrictive HOA. So my choice of antennas is very limited. I was going to get something that I could install and remote at will wherever I was going to use the radio. So my choices were a Yesu FT-991A with an ATAS that is a Yesu brand antenna, okay, for about $1,500 for the two of them, okay? Now, the ATAS is an antenna that's got a remote tuner in it. It can be put up about anywhere that are very popular in mobile environments and so on. The other option is the ICOM 7300 with an MFJ 1788 mag loop for about $1,800. The reference station radio, I had to make a choice between the 991 and the 7300, and I chose the 7300 because I, I, it just seemed to me to be a radio that would be a little easier to use. And that's what I have here as my main station radio. I felt that if I were going to recommend this radio as the reference station radio, that I ought to have one myself. Thing is, I do have it, have had it for several years now. It's a great radio. Now, Yesu has come out with some new radios. The Yesu uh, 710, it's also come up with the FTDX10, both of which are fine radios with uh, modern technology. Now, that's not to say that this thing here is a shirker. It can sure do its job and do it very well. The technology took a major leap forward in the 2010s and before that, and now we're kind of, you know, rolling on inertia a little bit where we're doing little tweaks here and there uh, to make the radios work better. Uh, the standard radio is no longer super heterodyne. It is a fully software-defined radio. You should know that the 7300 has a similar antenna. And let's see if we can find it here. There are options that go with this. And this is the antenna that it's looking at right here, AH2B, antenna element, okay. This is for mobile operations and so on. With the AH4, this is a remote tuner, okay? This and this can be mounted essentially anywhere, like on your balcony. You want this to feed this almost directly because that way there's no coax in between that's uh, gonna radiate power as heat, okay? And that is used quite a bit, or you can just get this tuner and then do a random length wire or something like that. So there are lots of options. It's not, not either or. I would tend to lean toward the ICOM radio just because I'm more familiar with it. Also, they're very, very, very common. A lot of people you talk to on the air have them. The antennas that can be tuned by a remote tuner, the good thing about the Yesu to Yesu or ICOM to ICOM on those antenna tuners is there's a plug in the back a four-wire plug that will attach directly to the remote antenna tuner. So it takes all the guesswork uh, out of what you're doing. And I think they're both that way, the ASU and the ICOM. So I imagine you've solved your problem by now. I'd kind of like to know how you solved it because some people do try mag loops. One of the problems with the mag loop is you don't want the broad side pointed out of your balcony. You want to turn it this way because mag loops radiate off the ends, not the middle. There's a null in the middle. Another thing you can do is rotate the mag loop horizontally like this, and it will transmit in a uniform pattern using horizontal polarization. So there's some ideas. Uh, give them a try. If you are in uh, an apartment or someplace where you can't have an antenna, drop me a line at askdave at arrl dot org and Tell me about it. Send me some pictures. Tell me how it works. Tell me whether it's good, bad, indifferent, and what you'd like to change. And we'll take a look at that. Till we next meet, 73.